Hello everyone and welcome to my bold and beautiful official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Bold and the beautiful teasers indicate that when Paris Buckingham is introduced as Thomas Forrester's new partner, Hope Logan will be completely taken aback. Hope will find it difficult to comprehend that Thomas moved on so swiftly, especially after she sees the stunning ring on Paris' finger. Hope had the opportunity to propose to Thomas, but she wasn't prepared for such a serious commitment. Hope is going to go crazy now that Thomas has moved on and seemingly proposed to Paris. Of course, there's more to this story about Douglas Forrester than meets the eye. Since Caroline Spencer's death, Hope has served as Douglas' primary maternal figure. Douglas is Hope's son in every meaningful sense because of their adoption. Because of this, Hope will undoubtedly feel intimidated by Paris encroaching on her domain as a mother. In the event that Paris and Thomas get married, she will stepmother Douglas. Hope may find that reality challenging, therefore it appears that she is prepared to confront Paris and voice her doubts about Thomas' brief affair. There will be valid grounds for Hope to have some confrontations with Paris because of her jealousy of Thomas and her worries about losing her mother's son bond with Douglas. You can be sure Paris will retaliate and protect her newfound bond with Thomas. Paris might also contend that Douglas is a wonderful child who is easy to love and pretend that Hope might benefit from a little more affection. Nevertheless, given how quickly they became together, Hope might foresee that Thomas and Paris' romance will end. Hope should be cautious because if Douglas is overly attached to Paris, his heart can break. The drama on B&B is going to flare up as Hope learns of the engagement news between Thomas and Paris. Hope had her chance to become Thomas VNK, but she wasn't ready for that level of commitment. Now that Thomas has moved on and apparently popped the question to Paris, Hope is bound to spin out a bit. Of course, there's another layer to all this involving Douglas Forrester that can't be ignored. Ever since Caroline Spencer passed away, Hope has been Douglas' main mother figure. Hope adopted Douglas, so he's her son in every way that counts. That's why Hope's inevitably going to feel threatened over Paris moving in on her maternal territory. If Paris and Thomas' wedding actually happens, then she'll become Douglas' stepmother. That reality could prove difficult for Hope, so she seems poised to face off with Paris and express skepticism about Thomas' whirlwind romance. Between Hope's jealousy over Thomas and her fears about losing her mother-son bond with Douglas, there will be good reasons for her to have some showdowns with Paris. You can bet Paris will fight back and defend the connection she's found with Thomas. Paris may also argue that Douglas is a great kid who's easy to adore and act like Hope should welcome a little more love in his life. Nevertheless, Hope may make a prediction about Thomas' romance with Paris falling apart since they got together so fast. If Douglas gets too attached to Paris, he could get his heart broken, and that's something Hope could be wary of. Once Hope gets updates on Thomas and Paris' engagement news, the drama is sure to erupt on B&B. &B. Spoilers for The Bold and The Beautiful indicate that Paris will be grilled by Hope, but she will hold her own and stand up for herself. The spoilers for Thursday, June 20's episode of Bold and the Beautiful indicate that while Steffi Forrester grudgingly consented to try this working arrangement with Brooke Logan, she was obviously offended by Ridge Forrester. Following the conclusion of Thursday's B and B show, John Finn Finnegan discovered Steffi and Ridge engaged in yet another heated exchange. She proceeded to provide him with an update regarding Brooke's executive leadership role. Finn noted that Brooke did possess the required experience after he questioned him about how it all happened. If Steffi gave Brooke a chance, Finn argued, perhaps she might be a good fit. Nevertheless, she didn't need her husband standing up for another Logan. The topic of Hope's feelings for Finn came up as Brooke and Hope in the design office welcomed the good news. 
Hope claimed she didn't even recognize herself anymore and that she felt like something was impairing her judgment. Hope promised not to interfere in their marriage after she saw that Finn was devoted to Steffi and their family. Hope hugged Brooke and swore she would never be that lady. When Poppy Nozawa questioned the security at Bill Spencer's residence if he had let Katie Logan in, she mispronounced his name. Katie brought up the fact that Alfred was present and had been since she was Bill's wife. Poppy pondered the duration of time that had passed, but Katie proposed that it held little significance now that Poppy had become Bill's new partner. Following Poppy's defense of her being in Bill's house, she surmised that Katie had come to discuss Will Spencer, Crew Morrow, and Luna Nozawa, Lisa Yamada, with Bill. When Bill cut her off to inquire whether he had missed anything, Poppy stated she was quite aback to see Katie at the house. Katie made a sly jab at Poppy for holding back on disclosing the truth about Luna for so long, but Bill emphasized that he would always be appreciative of the lovely present she had given him. Bill drew Poppy into a kiss as Katie watched. Deacon Sharp saw Sheila Sharp daydreaming and challenged her about what she knew when she remembered hearing that Hope had the hots for Finn at Il Giardino. Though he simply believed she must have overheard his conversation with a travel agent on their delayed honeymoon, Deacon surmised that Sheila had been listening in. Sheila expressed her happiness after learning that Deacon intended to take her somewhere, claiming she had never experienced such affection. The topic of Shyla's desire for a larger part in Hayes Forrester's life came up, but Deacon cautioned her that her prospects of getting one were very limited as long as Steffi remained in the picture. When Deacon argued that Shayla had done too much for Steffi to forgive and forget, Tom listened from around the corner and appeared uncomfortable. Shayla objected, saying that she had changed and that she hoped Steffi would see things as Deacon had. Deacon instructed Tom to place his guitar and rucksack behind the bar as he got ready to work in the dining room later. Shayla was pleased to learn Deacon planned to whisk her away somewhere and said she'd never felt this kind of love before. The conversation shifted to Shayla wanting a bigger role in Hayes Forrester's life, but Deacon warned that her chances were slim to none as long as Steffi was in the picture. Tom listened around the corner and looked uneasy as Deacon said Shyla had done too much for Steffi to forgive and forget. Shyla protested that she'd changed and wished Steffi could realize that like Deacon had. As Tom prepared to work in the dining room later, Deacon told him to put his backpack and guitar behind the bar. After Deacon promised that Tom's stuff would be safe, Tom indeed put everything back there. Tom didn't want to overstep but he admitted to Deacon that he'd done research in the library on Shyla's past, and a lot of the things he read creeped him out. Shyla fumed as she eavesdropped nearby, but Deacon insisted she turned her life around and told Tom they should get back to work. Based on our predictions, Shyla could make Tom pay the price for his comments soon enough. The bold and the beautiful spoilers say Shyla will prove she's not somebody you want on your bad side, so stay tuned. Deacon assured Tom that his belongings would be secure, and Tom did indeed replace everything. Tom told Deacon that, although he didn't want to go too far, he had looked up Shyla's past in the library, and that a lot of what he had read had made him uncomfortable. Shyla became enraged as she listened on, but Deacon affirmed that she had changed for the better and advised Tom that they ought to resume their job. Thanks for watching if you liked this video so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.